name is Bert and I am TDI instructor 11190. We're going to talk about dive planning. In specific, what I noticed that some of you missed question number 12 on the final exam of the decompression procedures exam. This deals with surface air consumption rates. Well, you all bought a phone card at one time or another from your local supermarket that you can uh, use when you go travel. Well, I'm going to Europe and I want to call my wife in Albuquerque and we normally talk about, let's well, say, 30 minutes each time. I then figure out uh, the location, uh, how much it would cost per minute, and I would buy a phone card based on these numbers. Just don't forget the reserve because Maria likes to have some more things to talk about at times. Well, same in diving you got to plan your dive. When you go diving or risking this summer with us, you'll find that there's going to be some real value in uh, planning your dive with your sack rates and having ample uh, gas supply with you. Here is one of our dive masters reports, wonderful report on Oriskany. Well, we'll be practicing these dives uh, in uh, Rock Lake this weekend uh, to make sure that our SAC calculations generate enough reserve gas for the dives. It'll be real fun and a blast hitting the numbers. Well, on my next slide, number one here, we're going to talk about surface air consumption, also known as surface consumption rates and a few other names. The first thing we need to do is to do what, Dolores? Uh, determine cylinder constant from the manufacturer's specified volume and rated pressure. Well, then after that, we are then going to do... Uh, calculate your consumption rate at some specific workloads and depths. Thank you. From these two numbers, we'll just then generate our surface air consumption. Well, there is very little um, mentioned about surface air consumption in the decompression procedures manual. Remember uh, that from one of the requirements in these courses is to understand fully the underlying coursework. Well, you all took advanced nitrox diving, and that's where the information is. So when you come home after the weekend, bring out your advanced open sorry advanced nitrox diving manual and look at pages 43 through 46 and you will get a good idea of what I'm talking about here for now let's use my dive planning uh, handouts and use a highlighter as you follow along here so by the end of this discussion you should be able to get the proper answer to question number 12. Maria, read the question please. A diver starts with 2,900 PSI at 1043 and then had 2,090 PSI at 1104 while at 66 feet per sea water wearing double 80s. What is the diver's sack rate? So let's try to figure this out. The first thing we said that we needed was this cylinder constant. Well, we find the manufacturer specified volume, uh, and if it is an aluminum cylinder, then most of it's stamped logically. But if it is a Catalina S80, C80, or a straight 8, or a Luxford Ditto, well, there may be some differences. If it's a steel, it's another story. So, if you're in doubt, why don't you have your local dive store uh, measure the internal value? In this case, let's assume that the double eighties in the question uh, were aluminum 3000 and they would then hold 77.4 cubic feet when they're filled to the rated pressure. So the cylinder constant, Maria, for this unit is then 2 times 77.4 divided with 3000 makes it 0 0.0516 cubic foot per PSI. And that is the cylinder constant. 
Well, you should really invest in your own cylinders. Uh, where you can paint the cylinder constant on them for easy reference. Well, I have my own cylinders and every one of them have their respective numbers painted on them. Uh, so, we have just uh, calculated the cylinder constant. Now, let's go on and figure out the surface air consumption rate. So, determine the PSI at the specific depth. We started at what, uh, Maria? Uh, 2,900. And ended up with? 2,090. And having then used about 810 PSI. Well, we can try this again at Blue Hole and figure out whether our SAC numbers are uh, appropriate. Well, keep in mind that for this particular exercise to be good or valid, you ought to have some digital pressure gauge with you. From there, Going on to number three, determine the cubic feet used per specific depth. Well, 810 times the, um, the cylinder value, we then get 41.8 cubic feet. The time spent, we said we started at 1043, ended up at 1104. Well, gosh, how many minutes is that, Dolores? Uh, 21 minutes. 21 minutes. So, from there, calculate the cubic foot per minute at the specified depth. Well, 41.8 cubic feet, 21 minutes, brings you to almost what? Almost 2 uh, cubic feet per minute. Right. And then, let's convert this to... Um, absolute, the specific depth to absolute pressure. Well, you know from your open water course that 66, cubic, uh, 66 feet of seawater is what? Three atmospheres. Three atmospheres absolute. Hey, now let's convert the cubic feet per minute at depth to cubic feet per minute at the surface. So, 1.99 divided by 3 is equal to 0.66 cubic foot per minute. Well, check if that's a reasonable number. Well, we know that uh, surface air consumption is around one cubic foot. If you're resting, a lot less. If you're hard working, a lot more. So, um, we should uh, now uh, go back and check our own cylinders uh, in the pool. Uh, and make sure that we have the right numbers. The sack rates that you generated in the pool, you'll now use later on tomorrow in Rock Lake and determine how close you get to the numbers and what kind of uh, uh, reserve air supply you have. Now, then when you go on to, with us to Florida, uh, to a risk any dive, you'll feel comfortable. Honestly, you'll have a great time uh, at the wreck, at the flight deck, down to about 150 foot. Say, there's some real benefit in continuing your diver's education with the extended range and introduction to Trimix. Because not only will uh, you be able to go down to the bottom of Oriskany at 200 foot, or you'll also notice that you'll have a very clear mind, not muddled by nitrogen narcosis. So we do have a number of manuals for you uh, tonight uh, that you can pick up on your way out uh, so that you can start your, uh, your extended range course uh, as soon as possible. So really uh, looking at what more information you can have, should have, really the TDI Complete Encyclopedia of Diving Terminology. Maria, that one you should really buy. And there's an excellent section on surface air consumption rates on page 103 to 106. Another good manual would be the NOAA diving manual. 
If you don't have any of these, gosh, invest in them. They'll stay with you for a long time and really give you some uh, uh, value for the money that you spend. But now you are able to answer the question number 12. So what was the question? Uh, a diver starts with 2,900 PSI at 1043 and then had 2,090 PSI at 1104. While at the 66 feet to see water wearing double ladies, what is the diver's sack rate? And the answer you calculated to be? Uh, 0.66 cubic foot per minute. Well, we've now uh, talked about surface air consumption, how to get it by determining the cylinder constant, manufacturer specified volume and rate of pressure, and then we talked about the consumption rates at some specific depth and, and workload, and then we combine these two numbers to get the surface air consumption. We, we've also really discussed the importance of knowing what to look for in calculating these numbers and when uh, we do our dive planning. We know how to calculate the sack rate for both the local Blue Hole and Rock Lake dives. Uh, fantastic diving when you know your reserve, uh, re reserve values. And also when you go with us to the dive destinations like Oriskany or wherever you go diving. You've seen the importance of investing in your own cylinders. You have uh, heard that it is uh, good to sign up for the extended range in Trimix diving and order up the TDI encyclopedia and the, um, the NOAA manual. So go home, check your bookshelf, make sure that you have these things, yeah, otherwise order them up. And I just reminded myself that I needed to buy a, a new phone card for my upcoming trip. Any questions? No, I think so. It's, I have the answer. Great. Great.